In the last video, we looked at the force triangle method for adding two concurrent forces. Now, let us apply the method in solving few problems. In this problem, there are two forces P and Q of magnitude 40 and 60 newtons and we have to find resultant of these two forces acting on the bolt. We would solve this problem using the force triangle method. The first step is to draw force triangle. So, here is the force triangle. Since the force vector P makes an angle of 20 degrees with the horizontal, we draw a line A B which represents force P at an angle of 20 degrees with the horizontal and since the force Q makes an angle of 25 degrees with respect to P, we draw another line B C which is at 25 degrees with respect to the line of action of force P and the side A C then would represent the resultant R. We know the two sides A B and B C of the triangle A B C and we know the included angle B. So, if we can straight away use the cosine rule to determine the magnitude of the resultant R. So, here is the equation of the cosine rule. We plug in the values of 40 and 60 for P and Q and 155 degrees for angle B and this would yield the magnitude of the resultant as 97.7 Newton. Now, we have to find the direction of the resultant R and suppose this angle is alpha which the resultant makes with the horizontal then alpha equals angle A of the triangle plus 20 degrees and angle A we can determine using the sine rule. The sine rule says that sine of this angle A upon the opposite side which is Q is equal to sine B upon the opposite side which is R and in this equation we know both Q and R as well as sine of angle B. We can find out the angle A which is equal to 0.2595 and therefore, angle A would be sine inverse of this value and that would mean 15 degrees. So, alpha would be equal to A plus 20 degrees that is 35 degrees. So, the resultant is of magnitude 97.7 newtons and it makes an angle of 35 degrees with the horizontal and that is our answer. Now, let us work out the second problem which is slightly different. Here the two forces P and Q act on a hook and although it is not apparent, but the lines of action of these two forces meet at this point and therefore, they are concurrent forces. The angle between them is 45 degrees. We know the magnitude of these two forces and we have to find this angle alpha that the force Q makes with the horizontal. So, that the resultant of these two forces is in vertical direction and then we have to find the corresponding magnitude of the resultant. Well, as usual the first step is to draw a force triangle. So, here is the force triangle. We draw a vector Q making an angle alpha with the horizontal. Alpha is unknown and that is what we have to find out. The vector Q is of 900 Newton magnitude which is given and from this line of action of Q at an angle of 45 degrees, we draw another line which intersects the vertical line representing the resultant R. So, we form a triangle in which we know the two sides, we know this side, we know this side and we know the included angle beta which is 135 degrees. So, we can straight away apply the cosine rule wherein we plug in the values of P and Q as 600 and 900 and 135 degrees for beta and this would yield R equal to 1391 Newtons. And now, we shall use the sine rule to determine the angle gamma and that would give us angle alpha which would equal 90 degrees minus gamma. So, as per the sine rule, sine of gamma upon the opposite side which is P would equal sine of beta upon the opposite side which is R. 
So, using the equation, we would get sin gamma equal to 0 0.305 and therefore, the angle gamma would be equal to sin inverse of this value, which would be 17.76 degrees and therefore, alpha would be 90 minus gamma that is it would equal 72.24 degrees. So, the angle that the force Q should make with horizontal is 72.24. So, that the resultant of the two forces P and Q is in vertical direction and then the magnitude of the resultant would be 1391 newtons and that is our answer. So, we are done. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.